guys and you're welcome back so uh, let's move on in our program so there are two things we want to quickly fix right now so the first one is you notice each time I open the window it always opens up very small so we're gonna fix that right now and then secondly let me just maximize that you can actually see our character is not changing or flipping in the X direction so basically even though I'm moving left the character is not facing left ideally we want our character to face left when we flip her so let's go ahead and quickly fix those two issues so I'll head over to the event sheet and what I'll do is uh, just right here at the beginning of the scene I'll add another action and we'll just go to a uh, window and what we want to look for is to set, resize the window. So change the size of the game window. So let's click on that and I'll do a 1280 by 720, just so we can have a big, nice resolution. And uh, I'm gonna click on yes to update the game resolution so that the scene will not be stretched. So if I click preview right now, oh, okay, that's gonna be super uh, weird. So let's try another setting. Let's see, let's change this to, I'll try 640 by 480. And the reason why is because we don't have any elements in that window and because we're stretching it. So let's get rid of this. Let's turn this off and let's click our preview and we could open that up and that's super nice. So. Uh, Let's, we'll just leave the uh, update game resolution and say no, this is pixel art, so we don't even want to specify that. So that's one. So let's see how we can flip our player. And there's a very simple uh, function that does that. So let's first go here to add and let's add a group. I'll call that an event group and I'll just quickly enter the name of that group. I'll call that flip player. And that's just what we want to do in that group. So let's add a new event. So the first condition we're going to do is to, let's just type in flip. And we'll click the player first. So this is the object we want, or we can do a flip, horizontally flipped. So click if the object, check if the object is horizontally flipped. Now if we do this, it's gonna be checked if our player is horizontally flipped. This is not what we want. So let's go ahead and do something smart here. So what we'll do is to add a check a keyboard event. So let's say uh, keyboard, oops. So uh, let's say key pressed. Yeah, this one input key pressed, let's say left. So if we press the left key, what we want to do is to flip. So flip the object horizontally. And the object we want to flip is the player. And click. Yeah, I think we want to set that to uh, yes. So flip the player horizontally if the left key is pressed. And what we're going to do is to add a separate uh, condition and I'll just say key pressed. And here I'll just say right. And here when the right key is pressed, so we'll just do a flip object horizontally, the player, and we'll leave it at no. So uh, let's go ahead and save this scene as, so it's nice for us to save our scenes as we increment or make any changes. So we can always go back to that. So I'll call that zero tree underscore flipping player underscore resizing game window. I hope that's not gonna be a problem because that name is super long, but it helps me just quickly remember that on the third iteration, what we did was to flip our player and we also resize the game window. I think if we do it this way and do 1280, uh, let's try 1280 by 720. If we tell it not to update, I believe we should be good, but let's just try that. So yeah, so it's actually coming out that way and it's nice. And if I press right and left, so I'm on left now, my player is flipping left and we can actually flip left and right, which is what we actually uh, want to achieve right now. So uh, see you guys in the next quick tip. 
I'll just set my resolution back to 640 by 480. And I'll just save that. See you guys in the next lesson.